Hey there, in this session we will learn about the cross validation of the model. In the last couple of session we have learned about how we can evaluate the model. Now we are going to use the cross validation to train the more robust machine learning model. Cross validation is a model training and model evaluation technique that will split the data into the several partition and train the multiple algorithm on those partition. It can be effective tool for training the model with the small data set like the our example. For this I have created the folder named session 13 and copy the files from the session 12. Let me remove the splitting of the data view, model creation and the evaluation. Instead of this we are going to use the clause validation. Write the context dot regression dot cross validate. Within that, we need to pass the training data set and a pipeline. Along with this, specify the number of fold will be 5 and label column will be salary. Cross validation will divide the data into the value specified in the number of fold parameter, that is 5 in the our case. The model will train for the each partition using the specified pipeline on the training data set. Then each model performance will be evaluated using the evaluate method on the test data set. In the end it will return the cross validation result. It contains the model as well as the matrix which represent the evaluation result. Let me obtain the all matrix. as well as the all model from this list. And print out the value of the each matrix. In the program.cs execute the session 13's demo. Save all the files and run the project. Here we got the values 5 times. As we have specified that number of folds will be 5. Each model has a different accuracy. We can obtain a model having the highest accuracy from this. Let's obtain the matrix having the highest value of the R square. Based on that, obtain the index of that matrix. Obtain the based model using that index. Sometimes we want to print an average for the all matrix. Let me copy this. And call the average method of the all matrix. And copy paste it in the all of the matrix. And add the closing braces. Save the file and run the project. Here we got the average for the 5 model. Let's see what we have learned in this session. Using the cross validation, we can train the robust model. For this, we need to use the cross validate method and pass the training data set, pipeline, label column name, number of folds, 
Number of folds specify the numeric value in which data will be divided. Cross validation will generate the model using the pipeline for each data view and evaluate it. In the end, it will return the all of the models and metrics. From this, we can identify the ABS performing model and use it for the further operation. See you in the next session.